I think it's about time I draw Shazam. Let's do this. Hey guys, Richard Simpson here. Thanks for clicking on the video. It's been a while, but here it is. My Shazam video. <laughs> I've been talking about this video for a while now, and I've just been so busy. I haven't had the chance to edit or narrate the video until right now. But you can hear all about that in the last couple of vlogs I posted on the channel. I'll see if I can try and remember to leave a link in the description for them. Where it just explains why I've been so busy and have doctor's appointments and commissions, all that nonsense. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm drawing Captain Marvel from the Shazam movie. Not Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, but Billy Batson from the DC Universe. I know it's confusing, but I guess he's just called Shazam now. But anyway, more specifically, I'm drawing my son Tony as if he was Billy Batson and could use the magic word Shazam to become Captain Marvel, like in the comics and in the movie. Tony liked the movie so much he wanted me to do this, so this was his idea and wanted me to make it into a video. So, have any of you guys seen Shazam? If you did, let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments. I'm really curious to what you guys thought about it. Uh, Tony and I really liked it. I'm not exactly a big DC fan. I mean, there were some DC flicks I really wanted to like, like... Uh, what is it, the Suicide Squad and stuff? I was hoping it was going to be really good, but it was very underwhelming. Um, but Shazam kind of felt like a Marvel movie, so maybe that's why I liked it so much. I don't know. Here in the video, you can see I already did a stick figure frame to build from just to get the pose down. And now I'm sketching the form of Captain Marvel on top, fleshing him out, but remembering to stay loose because this is just the rough pencil stage. And I don't have to worry about it being perfect because I'll be inking it later. Here on a separate layer in a different color, I'm working on the actual aspects of his costume to keep it separate so I can erase the underlines and start inking it as a whole after. This just makes it a little easier than having to keep erasing lines and, you know, tweaking things where I can do on a separate layer and just draw on top and erase the lines underneath when I'm finished and it stops me from messing up my other drawing and just keeps it clean and easier it's one of the perks of working digitally yeah I really wanted to exaggerate Captain Marvel's physique I want him to look extra heroic and what a child would assume a superhero would be uh, kind of like how they did in the movie they accentuated his muscles a little more than they probably should have been and I really like that look. It almost made it look like a cartoon. Um, let me know what you think about his look in the movie. If you thought it was silly, if you thought it was cool, or if you thought it worked out well like I did. Alright, it's a little off topic, but aside from seeing Shazam, since that has come out, we've seen Avengers Endgame and Detective Pikachu, which I thought were both were really good movies, and Tony loved them as well. And him not even being a real Pokemon fan, Detective Pikachu is now Tony's favorite movie. He even actually got a plushy toy after, and it's his favorite toy. It's pretty funny, because he didn't care for the cartoon or anything at all until now. If you have seen either of these movies, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments below. Uh, but please, no spoilers for all those people who haven't seen them yet. Uh, I understand some people can't get the chance to go to the theater. There's stuff going on. You have lives, jobs, all that. You know, I have stuff going on Why I have a hard time getting all these videos out. <laughs> um... But there's be plenty of time for spoilers on my next video that I hope come out soon uh, where I'll be just drawing and giving my review of Avengers Endgame, which I thought was an epic movie. And in my opinion, epic isn't even an understatement. And it feels wrong to call it a movie because it's such a huge event. It was like, what, over 11 years of films and building up to this singular moment. It just looks fantastic. Well, it was fantastic. <laughs> um, so if you guys haven't seen it, go. I recommend going to watch it. It's really good. If it's still in theaters near you, 
I suggest taking the time to check it out. But I will be talking about that in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And um, I hope to do a Detective Pikachu video soon. Just for my son because he loves Pikachu now and Pokemon. Now that I've got the flats down, I'm doing my normal kind of cell shading that I do for the shadows. Um, but I'm also going to be doing the cut and grad method for the highlights, where I'll make a separate layer for the highlights. And Clip Studio, I like to do the soft glow, I believe it is. Um, and you use the lasso tool to select the area and you use the gradient tool to uh, add the highlights. And um, it gives a pretty cool effect. It's a lot of comic colorists do this. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this in the comments compared to my normal cell shading coloring style. Um, I thought it turned out pretty cool.
All right, and that's it. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, what you think about this uh, Tony as Billy Batson, Shazam, Captain Marvel, whatever you want to call him now. <laughs> uh, let me know what you thought of the piece, thought of the video. Leave comments down below. If you want to help support the channel, you can like and share with your friends. Or there's a link to a Patreon where you can help support the channel. My comic project, Clown, and all that is in the description below. Please subscribe, like, all that nonsense. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Shazam! Shazam! Shazam!